You know, this is a picture that they had on Fox News today, and they kept showing it over and over. And here it shows the mayor sitting on the subway, <clears throat> and behind him are a bunch of zombies. And on the platform, you can see zombies. And you know, this zombie thing is out of control. Well, I mean, you guys have heard it on the news. It's on all the movies. Um, there was a movie called Plan 9 from Outer Space where uh, the, these particular aliens came down to Earth and created a race of super zombies. Um, the interesting thing about this guy is is that your middle finger is your Saturn finger, but uh, <clears throat> his middle finger is cut in half. And what that does is it allows it l would allow one to constantly making the Baphomet symbol, you know, the horn symbol. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. There's way too much stuff. And then this thing with the 11-9, uh, with the three-minute testing, but nobody's going to know about it, so you're supposed to tell everybody about it. Um, and the fact that the government forced everybody, literally ran the same commercial 24 hours a day for five months, making sure that you got a digital TV or a digital TV converter, and if you couldn't afford it, then you got a coupon. <laughs> They made sure you did that, but now they're not going to make sure that you know that there's going to be a test, which will cause chaos and panic, and, you know, um, it, it should not be up to the citizens to spread the word that the government's going to do a test. It should be up to the government to make sure that you hear that at least three times a day prior to the test. Um, and then that whole thing, if you go watch that video, it's that, that whole thing is completely off. Uh, the guy's name, Rahm Emanuel, he spells it R A H. M. It's really a play on words. It's R A U M. Go look it up. It's one of the. It's in the uh, Goetta. It's the 77 lower keys of King Solomon, who was not really a great guy. He, uh, his particular job as a demon is to go into cities and rape them of their wealth and destroy them and then leave. Uh, this is not a good thing here. Just I'm not trusting this whole. 11-9 uh, thing. They can't seem to get away from those numbers. Well, that's because the, the, it's what they equal. 9 plus 1 equals 10. And then 10 plus 1 equals 11. 11 is, is the ultimate. It's higher. So you have 9 and 1, that's 10. But Saturn and Satan, Saturn and Satan said, I will exalt myself above the highest. So, trust me, friends. This is going to get weird. It's going to get real weird of a biblical proportion. So, you just look at a couple of pictures I've got and make, uh, make up your own decisions. Ron Emanuel, whatever he is, at the Bulls game last night. Now I want you to take a look at this picture. You see that bull? That bull, you, so you have Ron Emanuel, right? That bull is Moloch. Moloch is the deity, which is actually Saturn, that they used to burn children uh, in sacrifice to that bull or to Saturn. So this, this is a perfect picture. So here you have what represents the planet Saturn in red. And here you have uh, Ram, who represents 60 legions of demons from hell. This is so. This is such. This is so nice that people have no fucking idea what the fuck this shit is. We're being set up to be slaughtered. Trust me. Trust me. Here he is. Here he is at, at the public transit. Interesting. So here you have Ram Emanuel. Can you read it? It says he's at the L station. How interesting. How fitting. Oh, and notice, it's red and blue. Wow, so Saturn, red and blue. And then Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel, whose middle name, by the way, is Israel. And Israel from the Phoenician means Saturn. I mean, you can't get any sicker than this shit. I mean, you can't. You couldn't write this shit. Steven Spielberg couldn't write this crap. This is, this is unbelievable. Here it says that Rahm Emanuel is a Cubs fan. Well, how very nice. Isn't that interesting? He's a Cubs fan. 
Well, I guess even demons need to take a, a break here and there from all the slaughtering and pillaging and the chaos that they're going to create. This is imbecilic. But, but, but there's a reason why he likes the Cubs. I'm about to show you. Here's, here's the Cubs logo. This is their logo. It's pretty much anybody in the United States, if you just watch the news sooner or later, you're going to see about the Cubs. Usually they suck as a rule. But this is why Rob really likes the Cubs. This is their logo. You want to see where the logo comes from? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's recap. Here he is again with Moloch. See, uh, Alex Jones says Moloch in his stupid video, Bohemian Grove. It shows an owl. That owl is, it, it, it has to do with what's called the Bohemian Club. It's a Nazi organization. Moloch has never been an owl. It's always been a bull. It's the one that Moses, when Moses uh, slaughtered a bunch of the Israelites for, for worshiping the golden calf. This is an actor from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s. His name is Boris Karloff. He did a lot of the B-flick scary movies. Look at the dude's eyes. This is the only dude that I could find, and I got a pretty good memory for stuff, that has the eyes like Rahm Emanuel. Now, you got, now you got this ghoul, uh, who was an actor, and now you got another ghoul that's acting like the mayor, except this one's really out for blood. Let's take a look. I'll do an overlay so it makes sense. Okay, here we go with the overlay. Now that's Boris Karloff, that's a close-up. Look at the eyes, you see how they're sunken and dark? That's the only guy I could find, so let's take a look here. Hey, there you go. Look just like him. How about that? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, if you live anywhere, anywhere around where we do, <laughs> it ain't just happening here, man. You're all being set up. Because it all falls under the same Druid umbrella. The Saturnalian priesthood came out of Africa and it's highly, highly deadly. It's, we're done. We're finished. Have a nice day. Well, here we go. First time ever. Chicago North Avenue Beach is closed because it's too hot. Who'd have seen that coming? New shopping store. We've got them. Targets. They put one up in Chicago. Guess what they're calling it? The new city target. City target. Uh, Sears Tower, Willis Tower, up for sale, just like the WTC was just before it fell down. And no fireworks, first time ever in Chicago. Gee whiz, we wouldn't want to upset the cube, would we?